From new songs you can play on piano with your friends. Two yeet grenades. This week's passion notes have been crazy. Hello everybody, I'm back today with this week's new patch notes for Save the World. What's new? So now we have X-Ray Llamas, which Zbot has kindly brought into the store for us. Um, for any type of llama that you open up with VBox, you can now see what's inside it beforehand. And you can see it in this picture here, but it'll also show you right over here. So. I'm not sure if I would like this or not. I have opened up a few in my previous video, but I don't know. It seems like it's more paid to win now than it was before. So this week is week five, and we now have the Spectral Blade, which you can get in this week's Frost Knight Challenge. It looks amazing. It has a cool skull on it. It has just cool stuff. So this would look great with Ragnarok, or the Ice Queen, or Ice King. Missions plus systems. So the new type of weekly challenge is called Un Uncharted Territory, and you don't have any maps or mini maps. You have to su survive 30 minutes straight to get the week 5 challenge banner, and 30 minutes once for the Spectral Blade, which is this gun up here. It's available um, tomorrow, or no, today, at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. So it will be here in 15 minutes my time, but it will be slightly later for the video. Caches have been removed from chests in Frost Knight, which is definitely a bummer, because you are able to do a really quick chest run and get tons of caches, which was great. Bug fix is always good. The new user interface for X-Ray Llamas is here, and I still don't really know if I like that yet. The new ammo icons look clean. I like them. Everything is rendered well. It just looks nice. Um, you're able to see the health bar from all shelters across the map, which is good. Just other things that we've been asking for for a while some bug fixes that you would usually think of performance here. Um, fixed a hitch while navigating between mission map nodes on the mission select map. This was definitely a problem for me because it would just glitch out all the time while trying to go from mission to mission. Heroes, several heroes from past events have been added to the collection book now, which can um, helps a lot with event items like the Easter one last year and all kinds of stuff that we weren't able to slot in the collection book beforehand. Um, also other things here, the Wild Rift uh, was the big giant rift unlike the ones in Battle Royale which makes you take damage and now it flint your character flinches properly. Just different things to make the game look natural and as normal as possible. Here, weapons and items, this is the part I'm most excited about. Now you can um, craft multiple traps, ammo, ingredients like blast powder and duct tape, all at the same time, and it doesn't restrict how many you can make at a time, which is good if you need to do encampments, let's say. You build a lot of stuff beforehand, and then while you're doing the encampments, everything's building at the same time. Um, also, bulk crafting for down-tiered items. This is probably my favorite part, because I upgraded a lot of my stuff to 82s. I shouldn't have, so I down-tier a lot. But it's annoying because you could only craft one at a time beforehand, and you would have to go back from menu to menu which is very annoying. Um, now grenade and rocket launchers are considered ranged weapons, so if you get a transform key, you're able to get grenades and rocket launchers for this. And this is also hydraulic and scavenger launchers, which are the um, sets the hydra and riptide and stuff are in. Um, 
new gun, the Jabber Walkie Launcher, is in the weekly store. I'm not exactly sure how much it is right now, probably 2,800, but it fires cannonballs that explode and break into three more explosive, mini explosive cannonballs. So it hits the target and it branches off. But if the fuse runs out before it hits it, they go in alternate directions. So it would be a triangle versus, well, another triangle. <sighs> the spectral blade is now here as the weekly challenge. I'm very excited to get that. Um, it seems like it's going to be sort of like a Masamune. And one of its special things, spectral slash, warp to the targeted enemy performing a spectral cleave dealing heavy area damage, which may stagger smaller enemies which is almost exactly like the phase shift plus uh, anti-material charge, but it's not going to hit other things. It's going to be hitting enemies. So you can also leap attack with that like the guardians will. So bug fixes. Um, I still haven't ever seen remote explosives in game, but I do know they are there. Just other things that have been problems in the past, but they're trying to fix now. So gameplay, all players now receive a message when a storm chest has been discovered. That is great. It makes it so everyone can be on the same page to get the most loot possible. And storm lightning strikes now damage objects they hit instead of destroying them. Um, and patrol rewards now protect against storm lightning strikes as well. So. That does seem interesting. I still don't use patrol rewards. I just kill the husks if they spawn. And the lightning strikes don't seem like too much of a threat. Um, just more bug fixes. Tale of the Dragon has been changed. So it's an area of effect now. And... That is pretty much it. Let's see if there's anything else. More bug fixes. Oh, um, for the Switch, for Battle Royale and Creative, it's a lot more streamlined now, and it's taking up less space on the device, less battery life and all that, which is great. But that's it. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, watch my other videos, and I'll be back soon.